This video follows on from an early one where we looked at the binomial distribution probabilities associated with an experiment where we spin a fair coin four times and x is the random variable which is the number of times the coin lands on heads. So x could be anything from 0 up to 4, 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. Uh, if you haven't already watched that video it might be worth doing uh, as we've stored results from that video for this one. But in this video we're going to see how we can easily calculate uh, the values of the expected value of x, the mean, uh, and also the variance of x using the statistics table. So again, from your calculator, go into menu item 2, statistics, and we have here the data stored already from uh, the previous video. So the values of x are 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and that's in list 1, and in list 2 are the probabilities associated with these values. When you're calculating the expected value of x, you need to multiply these, the values of x by their associated probabilities and then sum those. Um, and to calculate the variance, you also need to calculate the expected value of x squared, um, which is a little bit more complicated. But we can do that quickly and easily using these lists. So to start with, in list 3, we're going to put the product of the probability um, sorry, the, the value of x multiplied by the associated probability, so 0 times 0 0.0625, 1 times 0 0.25, and so on. So you need to scroll along until you are in the title where it says list 3, and we're going to put the results in list 3. And then we're simply going to say list 1 times list 2. And to do that, the word list is shift and 1, so it's above the 1 written in yellow. So shift 1, and then we want list 1, multiplied by shift 1 get list again and list 2 and if we press execute it gives us all those values and then we just need to sum those values and that gives us our value of e to the x to work out the variance we need to know the expected value of x squared to square our x values and then multiply those by the associated probabilities we're going to put that in list 4 so scroll across and we're going to do list 1 squared times list 2. Now, uh, the same thing goes again. Because we're squaring this, I'm going to put brackets in. You don't actually need to, but it does make it a little bit tidier to see what's going on. So we're going to do list 1, close brackets, and then squared, times list 2. Press execute, and there are your values for the expected value of x squared. And if you sum those, that will help you to be able to calculate the variance of x.